Can you beat Full F4 while well, only using the 2076 World Series Baseball Bat episode number 5? Starting off from last time when we just got into the Institute and we will be doing a couple of missions for them until we eventually betray them because Minutemen for life. So I make it inside the Institute and I go to my son father and we have to go retrieve an old synth that has gone AWOL. I swear everything the Institute does seems extremely illegal. But anyway, I head to Libertalia to go meet a Corsa who's meeting me there. And his name is X688. Very cool name, bro. From now on, I'm just going to call any of these weird-ass courses just old mate or something like that. But anyway, because I'm not going to be attacking every single enemy I find, because most of them will be in spots I cannot reach, I'm just going to be sprinting straight to the end part and hopefully finding the boss that I'll probably have to fight. And that means old mate will just not be any help whatsoever. Then I make it into the main building part and I'm doing pretty well for myself. Not taking too much damage and killing him mostly in one hit. But then out of nowhere this happens. This game's so explicit. Oh what the fuck was that? And the guy that I saw in the last split second was holding like an assault rifle or something so I have no clue where that came from. But then I try again and no explosions to be seen and I make it to the roof. Then I run into Gabriel, who seems to be the leader of these damn raiders, and I power him down because he is indeed the synth we are looking for, and I just use his recall code. And that powers him down. Then I quickly get rid of the two other raiders in one hit. Then old mate takes the synth home, but I couldn't come home because there were enemies nearby. Seems a little bit unfair, but sure mate. Then eventually I get back to the institute, and I head straight towards father. And he gives me another slave mission to do, because he definitely doesn't have a giant army of fucking robots that follow his every command. But before going on to my next slave mission, he shows me my room. And, oh my fucking god, this looks like a prison room. And in the middle is some computer with probe handles sticking out of it. I'm not sure. This place scares the shit out of me. I'm leaving. Let's just go do this mission. And he tells me that the mission consists of me going and collecting more synths. Ah, good thing he gave me a brand new mission that was completely different from my first mission. But to be fair, there is one thing different about this place, and it is at Bunker Hill, which is controlled by the railroad. And a bunch of Brotherhood people are also trying to fight for these synths. So it's an all-out war at this place, and to be fair, it looks kind of cool. Because all you're seeing the whole time is just an all-out war between three factions. And the only reason the Minutemen aren't there is because they're too fucking smart for this shit. Then after making it through a bunch of railroad heavies and trying as hard as I could to keep away from any Brotherhood people, I finally run into a Brotherhood Knight and he very generously falls on the floor and gives me a couple fusion cores. Then I make it into their creepy basement and when I get down there it seems that it's probably just as bad or even worse than it was on the outside. So because I can't be stuffed dealing with all of these bastards, I just kind of run as fast as I can to the next spot while all of these absolute morons are fighting each other and then finally after a full minute of constant carnage i find all of the old synths that will need to be sent back to the institute and when i leave to go talk to father the whole place is kind of empty apart from synths so i guess we won then instead of being in the institute he wants me to talk to him in the crt ruins and i wasn't expecting it but it was full of super mutants for some reason so i just run past him and I head straight to the roof, which is where Father is waiting for me. And this is an amazing spot to betray the Institute and show my allegiance to the Minutemen. So it's time to die, my son who is named Father. And then what happened after was a little bit weird. I guess my controller was broken or my finger slipped or something. Because not only was I teabagging him the whole time, I also took the time to take off his clothes, then take off my power armor and raw dog him. But anyway, hold that, you bastard. Your place is a giant cult full of robots. Take L, my friend. Then I headed back to Sanctuary, fixed up my armor nice and brand new, because there is a big mission coming up, and Preston Garvey tells me that the castle is about to be raided by all of the Institute since. Was it really worth it just to kill Father and be on the Minutemen side instead of the Institute? Yes, it was. So I hop in my freshly repaired power armor, and it's time to go stop the Institute from destroying the castle. So as I get to the castle, I take off my power armor because the next few minutes I'll just be adding defenses to the castle. You'll see why it's a problem to take off my power armor in a few minutes. And 
I also have no steel at this entire place, so I can barely make any defences for this place. Also, no one has been sent to guard posts or anything, so that's cool. But I grab a few laser turrets from the underground armoury, and after a good couple minutes of setting everything up, the Institute synths start to arrive. So as I'm fighting the first wave of synths, I realise that they are pretty fucking tough. And I'm also thinking, why am I not wearing my power armor right now? Am I an idiot? So I head back in the castle and look for my power armor. And holy motherfucking shit. I did not know other people could use your power armor. Mmm. Is that my fucking power armor? What the fuck? So now I have to survive waves upon waves upon waves of a very tough institute synths and courses without my power armor. And a few minutes later I run into my first institute courser who was an absolute prick. Not only is he invisible, he also spams stimpaks as much as he possibly can. And while being extremely tanky and very strong with his fists, this is sadly only the beginning of this fucking mission. And as I get to about 60% of the way through, I am getting absolutely slammed by three different courses at the exact same time with no stimpaks left and no drugs left. And so I die and my first try of this mission has failed. So I start again from the 30% mark because luckily that's when I quick saved. Sadly, the arsehole is still wearing my power armor, so that's very cool to know. Then, three and a half minutes later, I reach the 70% mark, and I am looking not so great. Because at this point, I have already used both Nuka Cola Quantums, and I've only got 10 stim packs left, which sounds like quite a lot, but I'm pretty much using two every 30 seconds, so it's really not enough. And then, an entire three and a half minutes later, I only reach 80% because I am one of the only people left with three unkillable teammates which are Preston Garvey, the old lady that I forgot her name, and the guy wearing my fucking power armor. And the reason they're not getting many kills is because they get up and they get absolutely swamped by 40 guys straight away. And as you can see I've got no stim packs left and I've got about 20% of the enemies left to kill basically by myself. And the only source of stim packs I have are from enemy courses, who deal way more damage to me than I deal to them. So, not looking great. Especially since I'm basically losing to this courser while I'm using Jet. So you can see how damn hard it is. Then nearly 5 minutes later, as I'm fighting this courser, and I finally kill him, I see this on the left side of the screen, saying that I have completed it 100%. And at this point, the enemies start to run away, but... I'm not allowing that. These guys need to die. And now that they're dead, I can finally have a little chat with the guy who stole my power armor. Get out of my power armor! Get out of my power armor! And just the icing on top, every single piece of the power armor he used has been completely taken down to zero durability and they will have to be repaired once again. And I can't kill the asshole because he's invincible for some reason. Seems fair. And because this mission was such a shit show, you don't actually even know how bad it really was. I am now sitting here for five minutes contemplating my life, just staring at the roof, thinking, hmm, suicide could be a good idea. But nah, seems boring. So let's move on to the final mission of the entire game with the Minutemen. But of course, just before I do that, I will have to repair every single piece of my power armor because some moron stole it from me and let it get destroyed. Thanks. But now we start the final mission of the game and we arrive at CRT Ruins, even though that's not where we're supposed to go, so I don't know why my marker was originally here. And while the Brotherhood of Steel's way of getting into the Institute is a giant awesome laser wielding robot, it is to make me go through a dirty ass sewer like a fucking mole rat. And after 5 minutes of running through sewer lines and just sprinting past any since I saw, I finally make it to the computer terminal and I install the remote relay sequence. So now I have a couple of the boys with me. 
and because they attacked our castle, we will now destroy the absolute shit out of them. Then after 7 minutes of mindlessly murdering these annoying ass synths, I get into the Institute Advanced Systems room, where I make my way to the reactor core. And this is the final group of enemies in the entire game, and me and the boys wipe them out after a good amount of time. Although they did put up an annoying ass fight. And now that they're all dead, I jump in the reactor core and place this big ass bomb, and it's time to get the hell out of there. And before we leave, this kid shows up saying he's my son, but he's a dirty ass motherfucking synth, so I say, stay here and die, you stupid motherfucker. And Preston says he doesn't like that, but I really just do not care. So Sturgis, get us the fuck out of here. The kid is a synth, plus he means nothing to me, and he's also munted. So, let's go! And we are teleported straight to the very top of the Mass Fusion Executive Suite, just so I can press this button and watch the Institute and that fake synth Sean version of a kid go absolutely BOOM! And there's the cutscene. So, there we go. We have beaten Fallout 4 while only using a baseball bat, and specifically the 2076 World Series baseball bat. But wait, there's more. There's a tradition on here, and that would be every single challenge I do will need me to go and kill Swan afterwards, because I kind of see him as like a very difficult boss, and he's cool. So I jump off the tower and make my way towards him. Then I get there and wake him up, and I wasn't expecting this, but I was doing pretty well against him. Then a little bit later in the fight, this happens. Oh, I launched him! <laughs> and that just adds to the amazing ending to this wonderful series. So thank you for watching and there will be a new challenge for this game sometime soon.